Uh, Kevin McGuffey on the line from Last Word on College Football, breaking down the Kentucky Wildcats. All right, uh, moving on to the connection, of course. Let's fill out the rest of the offense uh, because these quarterbacks are going to thrive based on the production of the wide receivers as well. So it's a good thing, obviously, that Josh Ali comes back, 54 catches, one touchdown. Wandale Robinson, a great addition, is a huge weapon there. Uh, but they're still looking for maybe some complimentary pieces there as well. Right, right, yeah. Because um, they said Wandell Robinson, the Nebraska transfer, um, he's obviously going to be your your wide receiver, your your number one wide receiver. Then um, you got Josh Ali, who took advantage of the uh, the NCA grant an extra year of eligibility. And then, like I said, the, the biggest thing, other than who's the quarterback, is that that third wide receiver. And kind of an interesting story on Saturday. Um, we'd heard his name talked a little bit, but you know, like you know, this is somebody you should watch out for. Uh, Rasan Lewis, who is the son of uh, Ray Lewis, obviously the the Hall of Famer um, from the Baltimore Ravens, um, he had a really really good uh, day on Saturday. Made I think three catches, made like one where he kind of twisted, you know, turned and you know hauled one in like a pass that was behind him, and uh, really really turned a lot of heads and um, threw his name squarely in the mix for um, for that third wide receiver job. So. You know, like I said, you've got Ali, you've got Robinson. Now you just need um, – they need that third guy. And then another thing um, that's happened, I think, since we last talked, Kentucky lost Keaton Upshaw, who's their um, their top returning tight end, um, to a, um, a chest injury. Um, so they think he's probably going to be out for the season. So – but Kentucky – but they have Justin Rigg, they have Brendan Bates, and one of the wide receivers, Isaiah Cummings, um, went to the staff and said, hey – put me a tight end. I think I can do this. You know, he has, you know, he has good size, um, you know, good pass, pass catching ability. It's just going to be a matter of, can he, um, you know, blocking against those big, those big guys up front at the, um, you know, in the SEC. But anyway, like I said, Rasan Lewis, that's a name for Kentucky fans to keep an eye on uh, going forward that somebody, you know, obviously you're just, we're just basing this off of, you know, one scrimmage that happened a couple of days ago, but you're, you see these guys, you know, you know, guys that stand out, you know, that, that stood out. And he was definitely one of those bright spots and the guy that stood out um, on Saturday. 